Well, it's a bit warm, but that's okay if you've got some shade. It's a bit windy, but for some reason down here near the airport it isn't. <laughs> they were quick on the scene, so they obviously get well fed by passers-by. That's the Henley Beach Road bridge in the distance. There's a wee weir underneath that, and off we go. So there's a few obstacles and things to look out for in here, and I'm sort of cruising along here, hoping to goodness this thing on the left is not a crocodile. It's a pretty sizable log, though. And it was slowly on the move. Don't think there's much of a current in here. We'll keep an eye open for the reeds out exploring the middle of the river. Which, by the way, is the Torrens. We're standing in the suburb of Fulham Gardens. The river seems to be a bit of a aerial highway for birds. There's quite a few birds that were flying up along the middle of the river here today. So after a couple of voyages, decided that um, we could go for a bit of a distance run. As long as you sort of stay in line of sight, the um, um, multipathing off the water wasn't too bad at all. In fact, I'm going to get out the um, right hand polar the circular polarized antennas with a, a helix in a future trip um, the 2.4 gig control um, didn't give any trouble at all so that's looking like that's going to behave itself i would like to have a microphone going on the boat so i can hear if anything underwater happens i keep getting some beepings now and again from the fry sky stuff it might be an RSSI warning, I'm unsure, but it does always seem to occur when I'm far away. I've rerouted the receiver antenna so it pucks up through the um, sort of thing next to that, that log again. Um, uh, what you call it? The pedestal, I suppose, where the two seats are sitting on. So I've got it sitting up vertical through there and the other one's lying down underneath. They seem to be pumping water out of here for some reason or other. They seem to pump water out of rivers for all kinds of things in this place. But anyway. So it's around about as far as I was prepared to go today. As uh, I was not keen on losing the video because the wind's blowing from my side of the river to the opposite side so if I come to grief I'm going to have to cross the water. Quite pleased with the dog because we um, had lots of stuff in, in the water as you can see. I'm pretty sure a, a water propeller wouldn't have lasted all that long before getting failed. Lots of reeds lying in the water, leaves, feathers, a few logs and sticks and things. Had the odd puff of breeze now and again, which was knocking the dog around a little bit. But um, overall it did pretty well. I will have to get that um, gyro out. Now I've cleared the batteries out from underneath. <coughs> Excuse me, mounting them either side of the pedestal now. Um, forward for the 1000 milliamp hour three cells and back along the side for the 1300s. It does lean a little, but um, it doesn't seem to adversely affect the performance of the boat. In the center of the screen, that's me way off there in the distance. So it didn't do too badly considering I was only using the receiver in the goggles. 
I've certainly decided that the Boscam goggles are definitely the summer goggles because they don't fog up. <coughs> Excuse me. And the fat sharks, no matter what I do, the eyepieces fog up in five seconds. So I don't recall them being a problem in winter. So I think they're going to be the wintertime goggles. The only thing that's wrong with these, and it's probably why they don't fog up, is these let a fair bit of light on or light in. But if you have a hat on, that um, that stops the you know the light being too annoying from the back. And I recently purchased a Bunnings hat which has a nice wide brim, and only five dollars at your local Bunnings store. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. So we head off up the other end and there's some willows off there in the distance that I'm aiming for because I know there's a bend in the river there and um, on 5.8 gigs probably not a good idea to try going around the bend. And since this um, trip went so well I think I'll do some exploring in the torrents because certainly downstream from the city there's plenty of access points to um, to get into and if it's all like this it'll be great so for the rest of the trip I think we shall enjoy some music till next time I shall see ya <laughs>